So by all indications, at some point today, March 18th, by the way, uh, Thomas Brady is going to sign with someone not New England. Um, looks like it's going to be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Granted, the, the, two, the two teams that, for the last week, have looked like they were going to be the teams to get them. If it wasn't the Patriots, were the Chargers and the Tampa Bay Bucks. Offensively, those two teams probably have the most. I mean, the Bucks have uh, Cameron Brate, O.J. Howard, who hasn't really panned out but still has a bunch of talent. Mike Evans um, is a stud, and Chris Godwin had a hell of a year last year. Can't think of who their slot receiver is. Um, that's going to be a key piece for them because that's what Tom Brady likes to likes to work over the middle. So uh, can't think of who that is, but. I know it's not Adam Humphreys anymore, but good pieces. And then the Chargers, they have Mike Williams, who's starting to emerge. Keenan Allen, who's always um, a very, very good receiver. Hunter Henry turning in to be a pretty good tight end. Um, Austin Eckler, scat back, which is what they have. Uh, and the Bucks have a couple, but none as good as Eckler. Um, but that, that would have been a good piece for Tom Brady. But it looks like he's going to go to the Buccaneers. Um, I, I like it. I mean, I like the upgrade. It's an upgrade from Jameis Winston, but at, at this juncture, from what I saw from Tom Brady last year, and I know they won the Super Bowl the year before that, but that year as well, um, primarily last year, he doesn't have, I mean, he can't sit in the pocket. Like, he's making decisions a 42-year-old quarterback makes. Like, he's, um, all year last year, I'd watch some Patriot games, and I'd see him protect himself, throw the ball away before he took a big shot. And I'm like, ah, this doesn't look great, but I think when the playoffs come around, he'll be a little more apt to stand in there and take that shot. Because he's trying to win Super Bowl, trying to, trying to add on to his legacy. And then that didn't happen. Um, so he was off target a lot. He's missing throws. Um, you know, thing with Godwin and Evans they work outside which I don't think that's Brady's game anymore that was his game you know when he had Randy Moss but that was also 12 years ago when his arm was was a lot stronger um so I, I really don't know how it's gonna go I can't even I can't even say that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are gonna make the playoffs because I mean you still have the Saints still have Drew Brees he's back for two years signed a two-year deal Saints are still there Carolina Panthers are getting Teddy Bridgewater, who I like. Uh, that That's a whole overhaul with Matt Rule and um, Joe Brady coming in there. Complete overhaul, so that could go uh, that could go great or that could, that could tank. Um, I think you still have the Falcons. Last time I checked, the Falcons still have Calvin Ridley. They still have Matt Ryan. They just got rid of uh, Devontae Freeman. So I actually have no idea who their running back is going into the year, but they still have Julio Jones. Uh, they lost Austin Hooper, but they have Hayden Hurst, who I think is going to be very good for them there. So that division is going to be tough. And the Bucks have a lot of pieces, and you know they're hoping that Tom Brady's just the, what pushes them over the top. Could be, because he is the greatest quarterback of all time, but he could also look very old very quick. Um, could go either way. And then on the flip side, the New England Patriots, at this point, what do they do? Quarterback market is, is dried up. Cam Newton, he's going to be traded because, like I said, Carolina just signed Teddy Bridgewater. So they're going to trade him. Don't know where he's going. Outside of that, Andy Dalton could be on the trade market. Not sure because the, the Bengals are going to draft Joe Burrow one overall. And Andy Dalton wants to be a starter. So who knows how that situation is going to work out. Uh, since the Colts just signed Phillip Rivers, Jacoby Brissett, I think, would be a very interesting one. Um, but he could be available. I think them signing him would be super interesting, him going back to New England, um, especially because I like Jacoby Brissett. I think he'd be very good. Or, as of right now, what it looks like is going to happen, they're going to roll with their fourth-round pick last year, Jared Stidham, who I also um, thought was a sleeper going into last year's draft, and then he got drafted by the Patriots, and I'm like, ugh, he sits two years they could have someone he only got to sit one year and the only time he saw action this year he threw a pick six against the Jets uh, which subsequently won me my bet that I had on the Jets to cover the spread so thanks Stidham but it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be weird seeing Tom Brady in the Buccaneers uniform it's gonna be weird seeing someone other than Tom Brady starting a quarterback for the Patriots um, see how it all shakes out See what happens with this coronavirus. If this pushes anything back, signing, if it pushes the draft back, 
Uh, if you want to do me a favor and you want to subscribe to this channel, you can hit that button right there, right there, that one, right there, somewhere right there. Um, if you want to see how Troop started, you can go watch our first vlog. That video will be right there. Um, that's all I got for you, those two things. If you want to check out any of our other videos, our latest video will be right over there somewhere. So uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Be back with some more hot takes when some more free agent stuff happens.